Effectively, it's an entry-level qualification, so we're talking certificate level here, with no academic entry requirements, so anyone can take this. Um, key benefits, it's a well-rounded foundation course. It's very much offshore specific, obviously will assist banks in meeting regulatory requirements. Structure, well, it's very much about choice, um, both for the individual and the organisation. So you've got tailored tuition, and I'll come on to the options in a moment, but very much around what, what the individual and the organisation would like. The sessions are going to be really delivered in a practical way. I mean, the message will be on taking the textbook and actually saying why they need to know this, why people should benefit from the knowledge, and how they can actually apply that knowledge in the workplace. Competitive advantage, both from an individual perspective that they have this certificate, and also on, a, on an institutional basis when looking at some um, other firms that perhaps are a bit slower in actually getting their staff through the programme. The course itself, well, um, there's a number of different delivery channels. Firstly, the traditional face-to-face -face course structure. So starting in September, and I'll show you the dates in a moment, we've got um, half-day sessions. So five, five sessions, the first four addressing the syllabus and the fifth one preparing students to sit the exam itself. The coverage is quite extensive so we start off with an overview of what offshore banking entails, its origins, its roots, uh, regulatory aspects including future developments in, in regulation. Um, then we've got the meat of it I suppose, the three sessions that actually cover the salient aspects of offshore banking and what it entails. So the markets, the products and services, trusts and taxation and private banking. It, it's going to compare and contrast the respective uh, business methodology in, in the different offshore jurisdictions. But the final session, that fifth session, is very much uh, a recap and testing of key areas. Uh, that's not to say that students will not be tested as we work through the modules and then a mock exam at the end to uh, prepare them for the exam itself. Okay, so it's just one two-hour uh, exam. I've got here in inverted commas multiple choice. It's actually, a, uh, you know, some of the questions will in, which is scenario-based will in, enable um, the students to actually gap fill the answer rather than just purely and simply selecting A, B, C or D. Pass mark 60%. So all students are invited to provide feedback. And that feedback will form an integral part of the development of the qualification going forward in terms of you know, learning from what works and uh, what can be improved on. Uh, we pride ourselves with our pass rates, which are obviously monitored, monitored and good levels of corporate <coughs> governance, health and safety, and diversity across our teaching styles. So some of it is quite visual, some auditory, some actually hands-on. As regards costs... Okay, well, we've got, we've got costs matching choices here. We've got the full course. There's nothing to stop those students that are confident with home study actually just attending the revision course. From September the 2nd, we're able to offer uh, the online uh, recorded version, still using the BPP material, dovetail that with online lectures covering the salient features of the syllabus regardless of which option you're choosing you've got access to uh, the tutor team at BPP. To register for the course and we've already taken our first registrations um, uh, it's Maxine as regards any queries concerning the course content then the contact would be myself we're you know, more than happy to come into your organisations and speak to staff either individually or, or collectively so thanks for your time